Hey, it's Chloe from Cooking Chef. This is Kian from Cooking Chef. So, guys, today we're going to be making muesli. So, this is basically a cereal. It's tasty, it's really cheap, and guys, it's really healthy. This is a great reason to put loads of seeds and loads of oats in your body. And, guys, you're going to have to make one batch of these. It's going to last you for about three months. This recipe is about for three kilos. So, no more chicha, and let's start cooking. So guys, now for our muesli, we're going to start off by using the ingredients that we have on screen. You can always change these nuts or these seeds for other seeds that you prefer. But anyways, I really recommend these because this is my favorite mixture. Apart from these seeds and apricots and prunes, we're going to be using loads of oats, a little bit of vegetable oil, and we're also going to be using two syrups. We're going to be using a dark syrup and we're going to be using a light syrup. That light syrup that we're going to be using, we're just going to cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes on medium high heat, just so it gets a little, it reduces a little bit and it gets a little bit dense. Now our dark syrup, we're going to cook it a little bit stronger and we're going to give it a little bit of color. But once it's got that color, we're going to take it off the heat and we're going to let it chill. If you don't want to use sugar in this recipe, you can always substitute for some maple syrup and honey, for example and it would be just as good. So you don't want to boil that dark syrup too hard or else it's going to start crystallizing and you really don't want that. So you just want to have it on that medium high heat and just really control it and don't mix it too much. Just keep an eye on it till it changes color and take it off once it changes that color. You can see the density on the video and that's exactly what you're aiming for. So now we're going to start by measuring out our oats. Okay, so we're going to be using 800 grams of oats and we're going to find a really big container to mix all of our oats and all of our seeds and nuts together. Our pekka nuts, since they're a little bit bigger, what we can do is chop them up roughly with a knife and that would be just the end. Uh, for our apricots and prunes, we're also going to be cutting them in half and then dicing them up. In this video, what I did is adding them before and I baked them. So this is going to make your apricots and prunes a little bit crispy. But like honestly, I, re I recommend just adding them after and keeping them soft because they're just better that way. To prevent them from sticking together in the bowl while you reserve them, you can add a little bit of vegetable oil and you'll have them nice there. So for our mixture, we're going to be adding 20 grams of oil and about 150 grams of water. The water can be a little bit lukewarm, this would be better, but you just want to get those oats and seeds a little bit of moisture in them. And yeah, we're going to add after our dark syrup and our light syrup, and we're going to integrate them all. We're going to mix them all nicely and dissolve those balls of caramel if they appear. And you can help yourself out with a little bit of warm water also if you feel that the mixture is a little bit dry. Also, we're going to be roasting this, so it's totally fine if you get this uh, pretty moist and it's going to dry out and it's going to cook the oats, so that's what you want, but you don't want this super wet either. So when you're going to bake them, you want to use a baking tray. I used three baking trays for this recipe. You want to put a generous amount of oil all around that baking tray and then you're just going to put the, the muesli in it, but you're not going to overload the baking tray either. You're just going to put the perfect amount because every 10 or 15 minutes you're going to have to stir them. You're going to have to put the top at the bottom at the bottom of the top and you're going to keep on moving so like that every part of the muesli gets nice and crispy in the oven. Also, we're going to be cooking this at low temperature at about 130 degrees. So yeah, you just want to keep an eye on it and just keep on mixing it every 10 minutes and you'll achieve a really nice result after maybe 45 minutes or less depending on your oven, right?
So as I said before, every 10 or 15 minutes, we're gonna be mixing them like you're seeing on screen right now. And we're just gonna pop them back in the oven. I was using a grill and a fan because my oven is, is that's the best option you can have. And I was just switching the top tray and the bottom tray each 10 minutes or less. So guys, that's been pretty much it for today. I hope you guys uh, learned a new way or a new perspective on how to make breakfast. And yeah, just stay tuned for the video of next Tuesday. Leave a comment if you'd like to see anything special. And yeah, make sure you leave that like to trigger that algorithm. That's been Kian for today. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye-bye.